if someone asked me what am I supposed to believe because I'm Episcopalian, yeah. I would say um, that there is a lot of breathing room in that. And there's room for doubt, there's room for deep faith. Um, uh, I think believing in God is probably the one and only thing I would say is absolute. <laughs> that there's a lot of room around the edges to um, interpret mm -hmm. that the way you want to, you need to, that you feel called to at a certain time. Um, that to be able to question is a huge part of our faith here and welcomed and celebrated. Um, you know, at St. John's, we tend to be more liberal in terms of social policies and politics. Um, sometimes people worried, is that is that not as inclusive and engaging as we say we are in all other ways? Um, and that may be. Uh, it may also be who's attracted to that sort of being able to doubt. I don't know. Um, I, I'm, I, for one, am not going to apologize for my social views or my politics. Um, but I also don't want to push them on someone else. You know, I think sometimes we've danced a little close to the line when we've um, taken stance on things, but I think we've figured out how to do a pretty good job of it. I remember uh, several years ago it was when um, gun bans started. It was in the 90s, I think. And we were going to take a stand on it as a church and say, you know, we shouldn't have guns, and there was some, some legislation and things going on at the time. And some people called Marianne, especially on the carpet on it, and said, not everyone here believes that. And I think it was kind of our first lesson in we can talk about those beliefs and share them and um, like the way Michelle Morgan handed the, uh, handled the marriage amendment, we didn't say St. John's is voting this way or feels this way, but she said, if you would like a lawn sign, mm -hmm. I have some. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I think, as I said, we, we get kind of up close to that line, but we don't force anyone to feel it or say the church feels that way. Mm -hmm. It's a comfortable place for me because I'm on the side of what I guess I would call the majority view here. I don't know how it would feel, and frankly, I don't know if I'd want to be in a place that didn't, you know, have those kind of views. So if I felt very differently than some of the issues that I just outlined, this probably wouldn't be a church for me anyway. No. And and I guess I don't feel a need to apologize for that. I just think we do need to be cautious that we don't say St. John's believes this mm -hmm. because we can't speak on behalf of the whole community. We can say. I do, and I think many people here do, but you don't have to. Um, so that's, I mean, I guess that's part of what it is to be a member here, is there is sort of this social political side of us which goes along with our commitment to social justice issues and all of the work that we do there, um, which, you know, I think is very well grounded in biblical teaching in ways, you know, that, it, that it's about caring for people and doing things, and that involves social justice and that involves politics. It's a place of great comfort to me in that um, ability to have a lot of flexibility in, in faith.